All right, everyone, welcome back. Thank you so much for stopping by, I appreciate it. So since I'm doing the same thing at work every single day, I'm gonna switch it up a little bit and not show you what I did at work today. I mean, I will, at the end of the video, I'll throw in some pictures. I literally did the same exact thing, wired up four and a half um, HVAC units. But today I wanna show you some things I've been doing, which includes low voltage, um, RJ45s, um, Cat5, et cetera, whatever you wanna call it. So I have this garbage piece of wire um, from work. Um, from one of the units I was working on. Um, I just wanted to show you guys how to do this, uh, how to strip this, how to connect this, how to crimp these and all that good stuff. Um, I don't have a crimper with me, obviously, because um, I'm not really a low voltage person. Um, so I have the pictures. I'll show you the pictures at the end of the video, what the crimper looks like, what the tester looks like. But I want to show you guys how to strip this and uh, land these into the RJ45 which is what this is called. Um, so first you just want to strip a little bit out, how much ever depends on how much wire you have. I usually just go like inch and a half or two inches. So you just want to lightly score the outside and then break off the jacket. Um, that's all you really need. Um, some of these might have a pull string um, so you can pull it down and cut off where you scored it if you think you nicked any of the wires or anything like that. Um, just go lightly, don't cut into the wire. Um, and then you just want to start um, untwisting these wires right here. And I'm doing the, the pattern B. Um, so there's two different patterns. If you look them up on Google Images, it'll show you what colors go in what order. Um, I pretty much have this memorized now because I've been doing it for the last two or three days. So the first two colors are going to be the white orange and then your orange. And then the second is going to be your light green or not light green, but your white green. Um, and you do want to make sure you untwist these enough. So when you go to put the connector on and it crimps down right about there, the, uh, the little tooth on there isn't going to be smashing any wires that are overlapping. So you're trying not to overlap these wires and I'll try to show you that. So this would kind of be an example of overlapping one wire on top of the other. Um, so you just want to untwist these and get them as straight as possible um, coming out of the bottom of the jacket or the top of the jacket, however you're looking at it. So the order is going to be white, orange, solid orange, white, green, solid blue, white, blue, solid green, uh, white brown solid brown um, so I'm just kind of working these out um, kind of twist these into the way that I want them to go if you hear any blinds crashing that's my blinds so with my heat I definitely need to get that fixed turn my vent around okay so just make sure you don't cross any of these colors sometimes um, if you're in the dark or a little bit with low light it's really hard to see some of these wires depending on what kind of wire you have um, just always make sure these are the right colors so we are going white orange orange white green blue white blue green white brown brown all right so that looks about the right order right there and one thing you can kind of do is just kind of kind of do like a little wave here kind of just pull them straight back and forth Get them going straight and then check your color again, your color order. And then kind of try to fan these out at the bottom just so they're not overlapping each other. Um, and then another thing I like to do, because some of the tips are kind of like, you know, when you strip wire, it has like a little curl on it or whatnot. Uh, just cut off like the tips of these just like, just a little bit so they're nice and straight. Like that, nice all, nice all, nice and level. They're all the same. I'm gonna check my colors again, and some of these got crossed up. Um, so put these back in order real quick. So this, the tip is for me, it goes, um, every other color is, every other color is uh, striped on the B pattern. So it goes uh, white with a color, color, white with color, color, white with color, color, white with color, color. So. If you see two solids next to each other, you're doing it wrong. If you see two white uh, wires 
white striped wires next to each other, you're doing it wrong. So, and then the other tip is um, it goes uh, starts with the white orange, and then it goes orange, and then it goes green, not solid green, but white green, um, and then the two blues, and then back to green, and then the browns are next to each other. So. The oranges are next to each other, the green is split in half with the blues, and then the browns are next to each other. Um, that makes sense. So, two oranges, one green, two blues, one green, two browns. Okay, so once you got all of those nice and straight coming out of the bottom, that looks pretty good. Let me try to focus that. That looks pretty decent coming out of the bottom right there. Nice and straight. Just gonna wanna try to hold these as close as possible together like this. Then take your uh, RJ45 and with the pin down, so the pin is down a white orange on the left and you're just gonna slowly slide them in there. Sometimes they will cross when you put them in here. So check it once you get them through. And sometimes if they are um, going in if there's too much pressure on it, the wire will start to bend um, and then like kink up, like as I'm going to push these in, they'll kink up down here somewhere. So that's not good. So I just try to keep them straight so you can pull the wire through. If it starts to kink up, just pull it back out, straighten them up and try to go back in. Um, and sometimes it can be really tedious, which is why um, people get angry when they do these. Um, this is clearly not working at the moment. So hold them tight and then just kind of wiggle them through and they'll come out the end of the jack. So, and then just check your colors, white, orange, orange, white, green, blue, white, blue, green, white, brown, brown. So that is correct. As you can see, it looks pretty good going through the, coming out of the jacket right there. Then you're just gonna want to put that yellow jacket or whatever color wire it is through the single tooth right here. So when you go to crimp it down, it will hold the jacket. So it's gonna look something like that. As you can see, it is past the tooth. The tooth is right there, and then the end of the jacket's there. So when you use your crimper, which I don't have, when you go to crimp it down, it's gonna cinch onto that jacket, and then it's not gonna go anywhere. And then you'll be good to go. So if it is wrong, if any of these are wrong, if you put this in the wrong order, it's not a good connection. When you go to test it, it's gonna say, uh, it's gonna say pass if it's good, and if it's not, if it doesn't say pass, it'll blink. Uh, with the tester that I've been using, it'll blink and tell you which wire is wrong. So basically, if you do it wrong, you just have to cut it off and start all over. Um, either one of the ends is bad or both of the ends are bad. And you can kind of check that if you see where your wires are coming out. If, like I said, if they're overlapped and one of them pinches the other wire, it's gonna like make it short or it's gonna cause a problem. Um, so just try to keep those as straight as possible, not overlapping each other when they come out of the jacket. Um, and if you have any questions, or if you think it's the it's in question, um, worst case, you just go for it, and then worst case, it's wrong, and then you just have to do it again. But just try to do your best. Try not to overlap your wires in the first place so you don't have to do it a second time. Uh, but sometimes you can't always get them perfect, and sometimes you just have to go for it and hope for the best. So anyways, once you um, get this part done, you put your crimper on here, you basically put your, um, put the tooth side on the tooth side of the crimper, click it in there, and then you crimp down on it, it'll cut the ends of the wire off at the end of the jacket, and then you just pull it out, and then you put um, the tester on one side, and then once you do the other side of the wire, wherever that may be in the wall, or the next device, then you put one, the tester on one side of the jack and the tester on the other side of the jack. And that's when it'll tell you if all the colors are in the right order. Um, so basically what I've been told is they have to be the same color on both sides. So if I, if I just make up an order, um, both oranges, both greens, both blues, both browns, and I match it on the other side, it's gonna work the same, but just going to what the um, boss wants um, we've been going pattern B and that's usually just what everyone uses um, but I, ideally if you put the colors on the same sides of both ends of the wire then it will work so anyways that is my tutorial for you guys today that was 
a fast 10 minutes, but I appreciate you guys for st uh, stopping by. Hopefully this helped you out in some one way or another. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it. Appreciate all the support. Um, if you haven't checked it out already, check out the giveaway, which is a few videos back where I'm giving away $150 just to say thank you for the subscribers and all the videos you guys watch. I appreciate it. So check out the des description down below if you want to uh, follow along on social medias or anything like that. Check out any videos in my playlist. I have all my playlist links down below in the description. And lastly, hit the notification bell if you want to be notified when I upload or do live streams. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to see you back in the next video and show the channel some support. I appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for watching. God bless. Have an awesome rest of your day. Peace out. All right, so once again, here is the crimper. Here is the front side where you click in the RJ45. And on the back side right here is where the little blade will cut off the excess wires once you crimp it down with your hands. Um, on the next picture here is the tester. This is a Klein Tools. Uh, there is a RJ45 spot at the top and on the bottom of this little yellow piece right there. So one goes on one end and one goes on the other end. And then here are the five units that I finished today, four and a half, one from yesterday, and the four new ones. So I'm just trying to make these as clean as possible. Um, doing some better work than yesterday. Um, learning from my mistakes a little bit. Just, um, zip tying them down where I can for, on all threads and then um, putting them through the bridle rings as well. Um, besides these little black wires that have to be diagonally ran into the units, trying to keep everything as straight as possible, um, coiled up as best as possible, and then hide the wire on top of the unit going to the little thermostat.